How is everyone doing? You guys don't know this, but it's actually been over two months since I filmed. So getting back into the swing of things, been trying to set things up, playing around different things here in the studio. Always gotta be creative, always gotta be doing something. I'm refreshed. Two months ago, I was just done. Um, I've been sitting on all those videos I've been uploading. Um, I, I wish I could have had them all up two months ago. I wish editing just didn't, I just had to dedicate a little bit of time to it a day. I just couldn't give up three entire days to edit everything, get it up at once. So um, literally just kind of a coffee morning thing. I edit them, get them going, schedule them to publish. That's what it turned in had to be. Wish it was done so we get on with the channel with better things. Anyways, here we are. It's not about that. You guys are here for this challenge. This is my kind of challenge. It's well defined. You've got to you got to define challenges well for me, from to make sense in my head, for me to want to participate. This, as reviewers, this this is a challenge I can get behind. Well defined. It's what we should be doing. One fragrance for life. Any gender. I assume any gender. Um, I don't know if it's female, male, but any gender. We're just going to go with that. Whatever you identify with and a fragrance for life for everybody. So um, you guys know me, fine, it's defined. I almost instantly knew what it was when, when I read the rules. I was like, super good challenge. I can do this. I know what it is. Sitting right down here. Um, one of the only reviews on my channel to break 90. Uh, I think over the 200 I've put up, 5% have broken 90. Um, this is one of them. Yes, if you go re-watch that review, it's one of the few. So I'm doing math on something, so I have a filtering engine. It's one of the few that I added wrong. It's an 88 on the video, but if you add the score for what I said verbally, it's a 91 total uh, mishap. It's definitely a 91 fragrance in my book. Anyways, how do we get around with listing one? I wanted to show off some awesome Instagram accounts. I've been having a lot of fun on Instagram this summer. Um, a lot of uh, nerds like me, a lot of enthusiasts like me, um, even putting their nose on more stuff. They're more educated, just been learning uh, all that meeting with some of them, some of their, their perfume groups in Vancouver. So um, just today, I'm like, you know what? I wanna put them on video. This that, that, that way I can show more than one. I can expose them to you guys great accounts, you need to be checking them out. So we'll go through their picks, let's let's get into this. If you guys don't know Vancouver uh, Perfume Peeps on Instagram, you need to. They, she does a meetup around perfume. I got to attend one last month, it was just a treat. It was during my birthday week. Awesome group guys, we're at the mall of all places. I could smell them a mile away, that's how I found them on my bike in the middle of the city. Uh, went up and we just connected, it's, it's perfume, we just connected instantly had a great time, took some photos, and now I have friends in Vancouver, um, different tastes. That's the great thing about community. Um, great taste, nothing bad, but let's let's get it. Vancouver Perfume Peeps, she gave me a uh, pick for her. Um, she picked, she had a tough time, like we all did, really wanted to think about it and everything. Her pick, Stacy, is Cartier L'Enval. So there you go, great. I haven't put my nose on it, but, um, It'll be up. I'll put a little bottle there um, in the video. Vancouver Perfume Peeps. Put a link in the comments and uh, also shh, up above me. All right. Second, we have um, Gunmetal. I've been corresponding back and forth all the time on the Instagram account there. Very sharp. Check out his bottles collection. It's out of this world. Um, his pick uh, was Old Spice. Okay, let's go with that. Old Spice is his pick. Um, one of the, I would say, first ones to, to advertise them in. I don't know if it's first, but very close. I guess Shipray would be a little bit before that. I don't know who was first, but definitely in segregating <laughs> from men and women fragrance, uh, Old Spice. So it's nice. He's That's kind of a statement. Um, I don't know if that's what he's going for, but there's a statement there of... 
perfumes for everybody. It's accessible everywhere around the world. Some of the com uh, commercials are ridiculously funny. So there you go. Gunmetal up there. Check out the Instagram. Very, uh, he's a watchdog for us in the community. Love what he's doing. Check him out. Old Spice. All right. Next is Heavenly Sense 777 on Instagram. Um, big, I, I was actually thinking he would pick something uh, from this house known as Instagram uh, account. He was part of the Vancouver Perfume Peeps and the meetup I was at. Oud Lemon Mint by Manchera. It's his pick for everybody. Um, there you go, another great perfume. Last but uh, not least, we have Alien Heart on Instagram. Another great nose, very well written. Uh, I can't wait till she has new reviews all the time, checking them out. Uh, she finds very obscure houses that um, I kind of lean uh, towards. Um, she found a house that was here in Portland that I had no clue about that I actually met on the first niche bottle I ever bought uh, the same night. If you knew how little this event was, that they were there. Slumber House was there. Imaginary Authors were there. I had no idea to be doing this perfume thing. That day, the way I found this event was so like almost niche. Very small the first year. Unique. All three of these guys were there. She found these guys, you sent me a sample. I didn't know they're from Portland. I look them up, I'm like, this is from Portland. I went and met them, of course, and I'm like, they started telling me everything we started talking. Their setup looked very familiar, and they're like, yeah, we were at that show. I was like, what? Crazy. I didn't have money back then, so I mean, my pick was very uh, studious. There I picked uh, Slow Explosion, Imaginary Authors, love of mine always, just from that day. Anyways, it's not about that. She picks, um, great, great nose. She picked Blackbird Animon. That's her pick. Follow her Instagram account. Great nose. Great someone to follow. All these and others will be linked, linked in the descriptions. Thank you uh, for the people that shared. Let's get to it. Some boxes thing. Um, you know, come on. You know, I had to look at that. It had that pure oud on it, right? Pure oud. I don't smell any oud in this. It's not in the name. It's not why I bought it. Some of you guys follow the channel and I'm going. Some of you guys that follow other things know I'm going to check out this presentation. I have a full review of this, so this, this will be quick. Check that out later. I mean, this is the most luxurious presentation I have that I own. So you have this, and it came with a wrapper sleeve beyond this that I get rid of. The little magnetic uh, box that opens here. And then you have this crazy pillow plush heavy box. This, this is not light, this, this is a heavy box. You open that, check that out. Look at this. There's, there is an oud chip in there to burn. Little, uh, I'll show it. Um, I believe it's oud. Um, I need to read up and check it out because the front says pure oud, pure luxury. So I do believe it's oud. Uh, sandal wouldn't make more sense, but I think it's a new chip that they go around oud uh, fragrances. Anyways, Santal complete. Now, if you guys haven't put your nose on this, Fragrance Dubois, Santal Complete, if you guys haven't put your nose on this fragrance, you, before you judge it, you have to put, put your nose on it. Uh, my story with Fragrance Dubois is um, overpriced at first. I got the Amber Intense, I have a review of that before I have the scoring system, whatever. I'd actually score two points higher than this one. Just let me know, I might redo it so the score lives out there. Uh, I would rather own that. It's just $800 and I, I just can't justify it. But it smells, even with that price tag, it gets the highest score. It's bar none the best amber I've ever smelled. Said it in the video. Ton of people after that gave me comments, private messages. You need to try this amber, blah, blah, blah. I tried most of them. Um, I have not tried Ronya Jay's Amber Loop. Everywhere I go, they're sold out. They're sold out on Twisted Lily right now. So. Little disclaimer there, I haven't uh, smelled that, but I mean, this that fragrance is, whew, if, if money's not an object, it would be that. Because of money, because of accessibility, because of just everything else, this is the fragrance I name. Uh, I've heard a lot on Instagram, you know, people are turned off because coconut is listed in there. Again, it's a different coconut than your mama's coconut. It's different. <laughs> you need to put your nose on it before you judge it. it, it it's milky, it's luscious. It's, 
this is one of those perfumes where we shouldn't get notes. The Accord is so beautiful. It's just one of those luxurious perfumes, like a Chanel 5. Yes, it's that good that you just have to smell for yourselves. All the notes form an accord that is just rich, luscious, pleasing. I can't explain it until you smell it. I remember the first day I wore the sample. I was ready to write it off because I, I bought their, I got their patchouli and I don't even know why I got this one. Um, I don't know if it's just thrown in because I was asking for fragrance to bought or not. Might have been. But I remember, right, I was just like, I, was, I did not like the patchouli one. Then I put this on. And then for the next hour, it was bliss. I'm like, this has to be, uh, this can't be real. I had oud and other oils on, so I'm like, maybe it's just mixing with that. Next day, I wear it again, just as good. Next day, I have to wear it again. I'm like, am I really gonna score this as high? Is this really this good? Do the five wearings, it is that good. 100 ml, you know when I own the bottle. Bottle, I take it serious. You know, if you follow my channel, you know when I break that 90 barrier, it's serious. Both of those happened. Santal Complete, Fragrance du Bois. If you sampled it and disagree, we can talk. I get it. If you haven't sampled that, tell you do. This is just one of the most luscious. I got to smell it right now. You're going to watch my eyes roll in the back of my head. And it's just one of those reactions that has to happen that I can't force. It's that good. It's good. Good, 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 good. It's just, it's good. I mean, I even jumped up to the... This... this <laughs> I had to have it in my collection. I kept my mouth shut. I put it out there. I put the review out there. I put the 90 out there, my most watched video. But I watched Lucky Scent every day until they got these in. As soon as they did, I hopped on it. Um, and I was hoping it wasn't reformulated, so I kept my mouth shut. This smells just like my sample. I kept the smallest amount just to check it. As I always do, whenever I full bottle buy, I keep that sample to myself to check. Um, I definitely did not want a reformulation of this. I knew I could sell if I had to, for sure. It, it is going to sell out again. It's been out forever. Uh, one of the hardest uh, fragrances. Again, luckily I got my review out. Otherwise, it looked like I was pigtailing off of off of the big D. Um, then she came along and just, I mean, hyped it deservedly so. I backed all she said. And I even commented on her, one of my red comments on her page that um, uh, your nose is maturing. I love it. Love where you're going. And it is. This is just a great composition. Anyways, it sounds like I'm a salesman for that company for fragrance. That I bought it. My own money, not sponsored. <sighs> there it is. That's my fragrance. What's yours? I hope everyone that I mentioned on Instagram does a post if they have it uh, of their picks. Maybe describe it more. Everyone have you have to check them out. I'm glad to be back. The music. Nobody said nothing about my music. I only used a few days. It's all original. It's all original. I know it's. Not too fancy, but but for where I'm at, it's, it's pretty fancy, um, as I like doing everything original. Uh, everyone, what's yours? What's yours? Comment below. If you do videos, video it. If you do Instagram, tag it. Let me know on Instagram, please, so I can follow you and know who you are. Peace out. Be blessed. Have a great rest of your day, weekend, whatever you're doing with your family. I'm out.